Hey guys, Terry here. Um, been working on something pretty cool lately. Um, articulated uh, fingers with no um, no elastic, no uh, drawstrings or anything like that. So um, got the idea of another guy over in the States and uh, he's done a, an amazing job. I just thought I'd model it up myself and give it a shot. And um, yeah, I'm up to version three, so I'm about to um, show you. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. Let's just flip this camera. If I can flip this camera. And there we go. Okay. Here's a 3D model that I've done so far. Okay. So as you can see, it's um, still a work in progress. I'm up to version 3. Um, so here was the first, first cut, which was out of foam. And um, as you can see, it actually... Ugh, if I can get it to work with one hand. Come on, shake down, there you go. It actually does work on its own. And that's made out of EVA foam. So, seven millimeter cut with my awesome new laser. Um, still working on the laser. But, um, so then I progressed from there to a um, uh, MDF model, again, cut out of the laser. So three millimeter MDF. And um, and it works really really well too. So as you can see, pull the little lever and the finger comes up. So it's a little little unco because I haven't on this model I haven't really expanded out. Um, but as you can see, it works really well. So and this is a wooden one. It's actually quite sturdy. It's like really solid. So if you wanted to actually make this out of MDF, you could make it out of MDF and it's quite light too. So. Um, this is probably a very, very long finger. It could be scaled down as well. Um, so there's adjustable sections and bits and pieces to get the, uh, the accuracy right. Um, so anyway, the live video today is all about this little baby here. So this is the first piece out of ABS um, with all of the back section that you see up on the actual picture up here. So. So what I've done is I've cut the entire thing out. Now, what I'm using for little um, little axles here is, there's crap everywhere on my desk, is actually this plastic rod here, which comes surprisingly from a um, plastic Kmart coat hanger. So you buy them in packs of 10 for like three bucks or something. And it makes an excellent rod. So it's about seven millimeter. Um, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, here is the finger in full operation. So I've got a little pull, little pull ring I've made out of a, a bit of filament <laughs> and 3D, 3D um, pen. So as you can see, just putting my hand here, pulling back and pushing back, it works really well. So I can get it all the way out and all the way in. It's still a little stiff too. But um, as I said, I'm still working on the bits and pieces. This ring is going to be replaced with uh, probably a small tube that your finger will go through. And um, that, there we go. I've pulled on it. I've broken it. So much for a 3D pen. But yeah, as you can see, it just comes up and goes down nice and easy. Real nice and simple. Yeah. So, that's the latest in the bits and pieces. So, um, yeah, hopefully eventually I'll have the files ready for this uh, available online. Um, this version up here on the screen is actually uh, 3D printable. So what I've made is I've made proper little pins and bits and pieces which are 3D printed. So everything, by the time I'm done, um, this finger all the way back to this section on the top here, so where the mouse is here, that's where it uh, attaches to your um, your backhand plate. So your knuckle sits around about around about there. So you'll be able to get plenty of stretch back um, to give you that nice big hand that you want. So as you can see, it's it's nice. It's much much wider than the other one because I've made the center bit uh, like the bones um, ten millimeter and uh, the side plate's three millimeters, so it'll print very, very nicely. 
um, and should straight out of the printer be able to be assembled and work straight away with no problems at all. Printing an ABS is probably a little bit easier because then you can glue it together with acetone, um, which is what I've done here. So instead of um, printing it with um, ABS, I took a bit of a shortcut and I laser cut it out of three millimeter ABS sheet. Um, took a couple of hours because it's only a 5.5 watt laser, um, diode laser, but it did the job, works well. So yeah, um, that's the, uh, the little bit and piece. There's a finger. So you can now successfully give people the finger. And um, as I said, there's still a couple little mods and bits and pieces I've got to do. A little bit of adjustments, like for instance, um, when the finger goes all the way back straight, it locks nicely. But um, I think this point here needs to come back just that little bit because it's right on a cantilever point. So if it sits about there instead, it'll pull back nice and easy. When it gets too far over, it becomes too hard to pull. So, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Kind of looks like a, a digger, doesn't it? But yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, there's the original foam one. There's the uh, MDF one. Oh, there's a paper one laying around somewhere too. Which, um, and uh, you know, to give you an idea that I did actually, I didn't steal it from somewhere. There's all the drawings, you know, the scribbles and bits and pieces. Um, so, yeah. All right. Do, 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 where are we? Oh, look, we got a, oh, we got a light. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, um, and uh, I'll see you later.